Are you aware of your microbiome? People used to say that you are healthy when you are aware physically, mentally and socially. Apart from these three, recent studies show that we have to be aware microbiologically too. Human body is not only made up of cells. Along with cells, there are millions of microorganisms living together. So each of us is not just an individual but a whole ecosystem for microorganisms. That's what we call as microbiome. This microbiome plays a vital role in our body like digestion of food, boosting our immune system and much more. Scientifically, more than our friends, family, love, anyone else in our life, our microbiome controls us most of the time. But what if these microorganisms turns against us? Will humanity able to survive another pandemic? Let's check out the answers for these questions. I am TN Kumarisan and you are watching Think Biology. Before knowing the answers, we have to know some basic knowledge about antimicrobial resistance. What is this antimicrobial resistance? First of all, we have to know what are antimicrobials. So antimicrobials are the agents which can kill or inhibit the growth of pathogens. This include antifungal, antiviral, pesticides and most importantly antibiotics which we use. If a microorganism learns the art of overcoming or resisting those antimicrobial agents, it is called antimicrobial resistance. The most important reason for increase in antimicrobial resistance in our environment is none other than human activities. So overuse of antimicrobials in poultry, cattle and other livestock, misuse of antibiotics, overuse of antimicrobials in agricultural farms and improper sewage treatment systems are the main reason for the increase in antimicrobial resistance. In worst cases, these AMR bacteria develop into multi-drug resistance or extensive drug resistant and even pan-drug resistant microbes. WHO says that 34.8 billion doses of antibiotics are consumed annually in which 90% are excreted into the environment. 80% of our wastewater are not treated and filled with drug resistant superbugs. If these superbugs start influencing us, it's a doomsday. There won't be any superheroes to save us, which means antibiotics or any drugs. Now, coming to the question, how our own microbiome can itself kill us? It's always better to have insights from an expert of the field. So, let's get to know answers from antimicrobial resistance and microbiome expert Professor Joseph Selvin of Pondicherry University. The antimicrobial resistance largely impacts the microbiome. How? See, antimicrobial resistance means the bacteria or the microbes resistance against antibiotics. So that will continuously transmit the resistance to the population, microbial population. So what will happen if you take a microbial population, for example bat, now everybody knows that bat is the potential zoonotic transmission route or the agent. So what will happen, the bat microbiome full of antimicrobial resistance pathogens, so that transmission is highly fatal. Then we take the microbiome as such, which, which is having the reservoir of antimicrobial resistance, then the level of transmission of antimicrobial resistance across the system, like food system, animal production system, environment, human, everything, like how we are saying one health. Similarly, antimicrobial resistance become integral part of one health. So across the system, it will have the antimicrobial resistance impact. For example, the antimicrobial resistance in aquaculture system. So that resistance have the possibility of transmission to the nearby water bodies like ponds and rivers and that again further transmit to the oceans and the environment so the full of the environment is now contaminated. In another side, the food, final the aquaculture products come to the food chain. So we will consume the aquaculture products like shrimp, contaminated shrimp in case without properly cooked so it transmit to the humans and humans, uh, humans have the impact of antibacterial resistance. And the aquaculture are supposed to be, not only aquaculture, the fishes are supposed to be transmitted to the birds and other migrative animals and birds. So again it transmits to the animals. So accordingly, so the entire environment is interconnected, the resistance, the antibacterial resistance is transmitting into the microbiomes, means the microbiota of the humans, microbiota of the animals, environment and water bodies etc etc. So the entire system becomes 
The same antibacterial of antibacterial resistance is highly fatal and dangerous. But at least we should deliberate it in some occasion. So this is one of the occasions we can join together in a conference, we can deliberate it, discuss it, and we can contain this sort this of spread across the food systems, in animal production systems, and the environment. Good luck. The second part of the question, can antimicrobial resistance become a pandemic? Unfortunately, yes. But how? The answer is climate change. United Nations Environment Program UNEP, says that high temperatures are associated with increased antimicrobial resistance infections. Many microbes are temperature sensitive, so global warming causes increased transmission and infection of these drug resistant pathogens from one place to another. Another thing is rising of water table causes wastewater sewage to overwhelm water treatment plants, allowing untreated sewage rich in superbugs to contaminate surrounding ecosystems. Then, what's the solution for the survival of humanity? There is a saying that prevention is better than cure. But in this problem, there is no cure yet. So as far now, only solution is prevention. There are two ways to prevent us from this dreadful pandemic. One, we have to stop misusing or overusing antibiotics and other antimicrobials in agriculture, food industries, livestock and especially in hospitals, which will restrict the evolution and transmission of antimicrobial resistant pathogen. Secondly, public awareness, the most important one. As many people are not aware of this global threat, it is important to create awareness about antimicrobial resistance among public. WHO has declared November 18 to November 24 as World Antimicrobial Awareness Week to spread awareness about antimicrobial resistance. We can attend seminars, workshops and conferences to gain knowledge about researchers in this field. Pondicherry University is also conducting an international conference on antimicrobial resistance and microbiome under changing climate in collaboration with Imperial College of London. Experts from various parts of the world are invited to give lectures and they are going to share their research experiences on AMR and microbiome. So, interested scientists, faculty, scholars and especially students can participate in this conference and gain knowledge about researches on AMR and microbiome going on around the globe. Link for registration is given in the description, kindly check it out. So next time when you take a medicine or antibiotic, handle with care, take care. Thanks for watching this video, see you.